Well, of course, I was playing uh, with everybody else's bands, and mostly jazz groups, um, you know, mostly creative and, uh, adventures. And I had my own bands. I had a small group. I had a trio that I called the Junk Wagon Trio, which was bass, drums, and trumpet, and EVI with me. Uh, and then I started my big band. I think the first year that I started it was 1996. And I knew that the big band was a format where I could really express my voice as a writer and as a player, all on the same platform. And I could really uh, control the music that I heard, because as chaotic as any improvisational uh, sections could get, I could always have the structure of the writing to bring us back. We always knew the landmark of, of, uh, of where we were going to get back to, no matter how crazy the, the improvisation got. So I like that idea of having chaos and structure within the same platform. Yeah, it's all, all uh, original stuff that I wrote. In fact, this, this latest record that I did is, is the first one where I've ever uh, arranged uh, any songs that weren't mine. Well, I, I studied classical composition and orchestration at UCLA, so that foundation was there. But I started writing big band charts in high school, uh, not necessarily with any tutelage. I, I just started writing, and you put it in front of the band, and, and uh, you listen back to it and, and say, oh, that did work, and, and uh, trial and error. And you just keep doing it and keep doing it and you find uh, devices and uh, even uh, aesthetic choices that you seem to gravitate toward and it's, it's continually evolving. But yeah, it's more trial and error. And asking questions, you know, I have so many wonderful mentors in my life that I could ask questions to. I think a lot of that role is, is why I'm here. Uh, I think that uh, for whatever reason, uh, I'm always put in those positions. You know, I remember I, I was voted uh, president of the first and second grade, you know, and they told me that, okay, let's do it. Uh, it was never anything that I sought, but it always seems to be something that happens. And uh, so I think there's some value that I can bring to those to that role. Uh, it's it's uh, you know it's, it's you're, you're the the source of inspiration and and uh, and I like being able to bring people together for for something that's much larger than any individual so I love that aspect of it uh, musically but also in a, in a spiritual way and in in and even on a friendship level uh, and and to know that you're you're putting out all those those good vibrations uh, and inspiring people to, to do their own thing too. That that's such a such an incredible feeling. I love that part.